up, guys? Trump me. Trump me. 2017, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Turn up. Blocking out all the haters. How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and today we are heading down to Steel, Alabama for the Steel, Alabama drag strip meet, truck meet. I got my good buddy with his third gen Cummins. He's heading down with me. We're going to go down for the day, stay down there, hang out with a bunch of people. There's a bunch of guys that's supposed to meet us down there. So it's going to be an awesome event guys. So let's get right into this update. We are about 30 minutes into our journey. Yeah, roughly about 30 minutes. Um, we're gonna battle traffic for about 20 minutes, trying to push through all the traffic so we can get an open part of the road. Cause we're running about 80-ish through Mexico. My buddy's behind me in his third gym. People usually get out of the way when they see two trucks coming hauling ass up behind them. But just an FYI to everyone, if you're in the fast lane and you're going below 75 miles an hour, get the hell over. Like, did you not learn that in driving school? Or did you probably didn't even go to driving school. Um, the fast lane is there for a reason, and it's not for you to cruise up and down your state at 65 miles an hour. And you get pissed off because you get your ass rolled up on by two trucks. Because, like, literally, you need to learn how to drive. That's just the bottom line. But anyway, it's a beautiful sunny day, of course, for a road trip. Couldn't ask for better conditions for a road trip. So we're just hauling down that way, so... We're in Chattanooga, guys. We're over about halfway there. A little over, yeah. About roughly halfway there. Got this beautiful gray Raptor in front of me um, from Georgia. I mean, absolutely gorgeous Raptor. I would totally drive that. God, it looks so good. We're in Georgia. We're in Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Where the skies are so blue. Okay, I'm done singing down for you all. Um, we've got about 68. Oh, thank you. We've got about 68 ish, 67 more miles to go until we're there. It is, it, is, it is in central time, so we should arrive there about 12.33 or 1.33 at home. It starts at 2, so that gives us enough time to go get something to eat and kind of get the trucks ready. And then it'll be event time. All right, guys, we have made it to Steel, Alabama. We got some food first, but as you can see, the line is getting very long. Um, we're about halfway, and they just keep piling up down there. The buddy is third gen. Um, so, and there's more trucks coming. So we're just waiting on getting into the event, um, meeting up with all trade trucks at this event. If you don't know who they are, now, apparently you've not been on Instagram at all. It's one of the biggest truck pages ever, so I cannot wait to meet up with him finally. We're rolling in, guys. We're starting to take money. We're trying to roll into the event now. It is packed. Let me tell you, there's a shit ton of people here. It's going to be an awesome, awesome event. I cannot wait to get there. So I'm already here, but get in the gate. All right, guys. We're at Steel Meet 20, uh, 2018, the spring one. Buddy's third gen here. We got all the trucks lined up, a bunch of um, OBS trucks like mine are here. We got another one, so, like almost the exact same color as mine too, dang.
this a little hot? So this is all hot. A lot of hot. A lot of hot. <laughs> all right, guys, I've got all terrain trucks here at the Alabama truck meet. We're going to be walking around putting flyers on the truck to stuff for the uh, the adrenaline show. If you haven't heard about it, I'm making a video on that shortly, which either come out before or after Daytona. I'm not 100% sure yet on that meet. But if you want the most professional meet in the southeast, if not the whole country, come to the event, guys. It's very good. I Tag will be popping up right now, the last one I went to last year. So if you want to know what it's all about, watch that video. But come on out, guys. It's a great event out in Nashville. Guys, we're getting some video footage in, some badass trucks here.
the hell are you doing? Did you get tired of your Ford and get in the Chevy? Hometown boy right here. <laughs> what are those 26s? Hey. <laughs> Damn, son. Well guys, I'm leaving Steel. I got a three hour drive home. Um, thank you. It was a great event guys. So much for in the fall. I think it followed a combination of a lot of things that were going on. But it's such a much better event this year. I definitely will be back next year, the spring one. I don't know about the fall this year. It just depends on my schedule. But thank you all so much for coming out and saying hi and coming up and stuff. I made some awesome connections, met some awesome people. So until next time, I got a three hour drive home. That's a lifted GMC hour drive home this is gonna be a lot of fun next day this is gonna be the <laughs> end of the uh, steel meat vlog I want to thank everyone again for coming out saying hi I met awesome new people met up with some old people made connections stuff like that awesome meeting all train trucks look forward to more stuff with him in the future some more uh, collab stuff and whatnot um but I want to go over one thing that I've noticed and I had a lot of time to think about this last night coming home from the uh, show because it's about a three hour drive for me um, and before you all in the comments go ballistic, um, listen to the whole thing, so let me, to finish, um, it was not just this show, it's other shows I've been to too that have been like this, um, I don't understand the mentality of, um, how do I put this? It seemed to me a lot of people there were not in the mentality of talking to everyone. So I was over there filming, trying to talk to people. Some people just refused to talk and were being rude and were just like, and you know, it's fine. If you don't be on camera, it's fine. I understand that. But like, I want to talk about your truck. I want to talk about this and that and, you know, spray, share ideas and stuff like that. And some of them just weren't doing it. Like, it's kind of sad in the truck community now. It's getting to the point where people don't want to talk to each other. There's a hate group going on, I don't like that person because so-and-so, I don't like that person because he copied my bill, I don't like this so-and-so, it needs to stop. A lot of it seems like to me that a lot of people got into the truck scene to get insta-famous and not because they like to build a truck. The guys that were running 80, 90, 100,000 dollar trucks there were more open to talk to me than some of the guys that have um, not my style of trucks but trucks in my range, like you're trying to build them and stuff. And I don't think that should be the case. We all need to grow up, act more mature, and we need to help each other out. Because the issue we're going to have, and I can see it already happening now, um, is these meets are going to get canceled because people are fighting, people aren't being respectful, people aren't doing so in X, Y, and Z. And I don't want that to happen because I got into this because I love building trucks, I love meeting new people, I love doing all that. But all it's turned into now is a giant war on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. I'm not bashing anyone in particular at all. I'm just telling you what I saw yesterday, what was going on, and I'm not a huge fan of it. So, that being said, though, I did meet some awesome people there, made some awesome connections. Um, you know, met with some old friends of mine from other meets that were there. I mean, it was really cool to do that. I, uh, it was a really good turnout this year. A lot better than the fall one, like I said. The fall one was just miserably cold and stuff like that. There's a bunch of stuff going on that just made that meat kind of terrible. But, you know, sometimes it's the luck of the draw. But I wish I could have stayed for the whole thing, guys. But like I said, I had a three-hour drive home, and I need to get home cause, um, to get some stuff done next day. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing. Like I said, guys, before in the in a video, if we hit 3,000 subscribers by June 1st, I'm doing another GoPro giveaway. So thank you all so much for watching. All of you have a great day. And remember, never 
give up on your dreams.